Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you an easy way to install Google Chrome browser to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process is really easy and it will take you only a couple of minutes. So first of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. Just go to search on your device, here it is, and start typing Downloader in the search bar. And as you can see, there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app because the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader, and that's the app which we need to get to our device. But after we get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. And to set up the loader, we'll go to settings. So here they are. Click on that button, with the gear icon. Then scroll down until you see My Far TV. Open it, and here we'll have to enable developer options for your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, if you cannot find developer options anywhere, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now the button for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then we go to install unknown apps, and turn that option on for your loader. So what it does, it's going to allow us to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go back to the list of apps on our device. Here it is, open it, and there's the downloader application, which we already got to our Fire Stick. However, before actually using the downloader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, they got a great application for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, Chromecasts, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device that you may have. And you can connect all of your devices at the same time with one account only which is great news for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Denmark right now, and from the moment we connect, all our traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's extremely important if you wish to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you'd like to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just get your phone or your computer, open web browser and type topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to send you to the best available offer for NordVPN. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen, with the camera of your phone. It works the same way, it's also going to give you the best offer for NordVPN. And now let's use the loader safely. So we open the loader application, on the left side menu, make sure to click on Home, that's important. And then here, such a search bar is going to appear. So we open it, and here we'll be entering a code. So the code is going to be 2, 8, 9, 0, and 7. So once again, your code is 2, 8, 9, 0, 7, and then we press on Go. And now, in a couple of seconds, a website is going to open for us. Now, when the website has finally opened for us, what we have to do here is just scroll down a little bit until we see that list of categories, and obviously we'll have to press on Browsers here. So click on Browsers, and now a huge list of web browsers has opened for us, and there's the Google Chrome, which we are looking for. So click on Google Chrome, then a new web page is also going to open for us, which we also have to scroll down. You need to keep scrolling until you see the Download Fire TV Android TV button, that's exactly what we're looking for. And if for some reason this button does not work for you and the download does not start, you can always use the backup download link, which is just below the usual download button. So now just click on download right here. And if any ad opens up for you here at this point, just click on close or on X, which should be here, of course, depending on what kind of ad you see. So click on close and now the load should start for us. It might take quite a bit if you have a slow internet connection, in my case, it's not a problem. There, just click on install, and the app will be installed to our Fire Stick in a couple of moments. And now, do not press on open yet, instead click on done. 
because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file as we do not need it anymore. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way we are erasing the unnecessary installation files from our device. Now we can finally go to the list of applications on our Fire Stick. Scroll down and here's the Chrome browser which we just installed to the Fire Stick. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote and then press on move to front. This way Google Chrome is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Of course, I would not recommend using this browser if you do not have a Bluetooth mouse connected to your Fire Stick. Previously using a mouse toggle was an option, but unfortunately it does not work on Fire Sticks anymore, so you will need a Bluetooth mouse connected to your device. And that's it, thank you for watching, see you next time, bye bye.